Hey, good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We pray that you are well. We pray that your day is off to a great start. Listen, God is good. He is an awesome God. He is a mighty God. He just keeps on doing great things. Every time you look around, He just keeps on blessing you over and over again listen before you say anything before you ask for anything before you move this morning lift your hands up and say you know what god you've been good to me this morning if you hadn't taken time out just to reflect on the awesomeness of our god right now is a good time to tell him thank you listen i know y'all looking and saying something's different it is that's the goodness of god (laughs) well something certainly is different i am not in the house this morning i am not we're actually in the process of traveling uh, for the birthday for my birthday and so i wanted to make sure that i spent time with my morning prayer family this morning and just letting you know that you know god is still good he's still awesome he's still on the throne He's still performing miracles. He's still working things out. And he's doing it for your good. Listen, not that you might get the praise. Not that you might be glorified. But it's that he may be glorified. That he may be lifted up. As he lifts you up in life, listen, he's lifting himself up in life. And scripture tells us that if I be lifted up, that I'll draw all man unto me. And have you realized that he has been lifting you so that man can see him at work in your life? So this morning, as we're preparing to pray, you ought to thank God that he's lifted you up. Not that you might not be seen, not that you will be seen, but that he may be seen in your life. Amen. And so this morning, as we're preparing to pray, as we're preparing to go forth this morning, if you have not this morning told somebody and let someone know that you're excited about seeing them online this morning, let them know, hey, I'm glad to see you this morning. I'm glad to see you. Tap somebody on your vir- on their virtual shoulder and say, hey, I'm glad to see you this morning. I'm glad to see you. Matter of fact, respond back to them and say, I'm glad to be seen. Amen. Let them know that you were glad to be here. But also as you are um, uh, making contact with your brothers and your sisters, make sure you let them know that you're praying with them and that you are praying for them this morning. That you're lifting them up in prayer as we are praying upon today. Amen. Well, I want to ask this morning that as we go forward that you would take time out and that you would um, lift up um, the family of the Tucker family. Lift them up in prayer today. Call their name out as we go forward today. We're going to ask that you continue to lift up the Tatum family this morning. Continue to pray for our youth across this nation. Pray for our nation. Pray for our elderly this morning. We ask that you also would pray for the bereaved families this morning. That you would pray that God would move and that he would work in the lives of those that are going through life struggles and situations. Let's pray for them this morning. I'm going to ask that you also continue to pray for my mother and my father. Continue to lift up my siblings this morning and pray for the Savion and Faith and Latoya and myself lift us up in prayer as you go throughout this day. Amen. I'm going to ask that you all would do that for us. Amen. Well, as we're preparing to pray this morning, as we're preparing to go forward, can you do me one more favor? Can you call out the name of your pastor? Can you call, lift them up in prayer this morning? To not only your pastor, but your first lady, call them out this morning. Can you do that for us? Call them out in prayer this morning. Call out your church name this morning. Call out all the ministries at your church this morning. Lift them up in prayer that God may use them in such a season as this. That um, we may draw man into the fold. Amen. And so we're asking that you all would pray um, for your church body. All right. Well, listen, I'm not going to hold you all long this morning. I'm going to say a couple of words and then we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Listen, Latoya the other day had an issue with her um, cell phone. Um, She was receiving a message that says that the phone was not charging. Um, She 
went and she changed the chargers out. She went and she changed out the charging blocks. She did all of these things, but yet the phone did not charge. Well, what she did next was she um, plugged in the phone to a different charger to one of my chargers and the phone um, began to charge. But when she plugged it back into another charger, it gave her a message that said that she needed to use a compatible charger. I'm going to say that again. When she plugged it in, it says that she needed to connect her device to a compatible charger. Listen, she had already previously plugged her phone into the power source, into the wall, connected her phone to it, but it would not charge because the source was not compatible. Say it one more time for the people sitting at the back key. Listen, um, she plugged in her phone into the wall, into the power source, connected her um, phone cord into her phone port, and it said that it was not compatible. Though it was connected to the power source, it could not charge. Listen, why? Because the power source it was connected to was not compatible. Listen, in our lives so many times we find ourselves connecting to a power source. Say that again, Key. We find ourselves connected to a power source. What's that power source, Key? Well, some of us say, well, we got a little money in the bank. We got a little power. <laughs> some of us say, I got a little title behind my name. I got a little power. Somebody said, oh, I drive a nice car. I live on a nice side of town. Live in a nice home. I got a little power. But can I tell you something? That little power source that you send, that you have, that, um, that, that money in the bank, um, that title, nice home, nice car, um, living in a nice community on the other side of town. Yeah, that's, you, you think you have power. But listen, when life get tough. That money can't buy you out of some situations. Oh, when, when, when storms come your way, you can't call, listen, can't call on the, the banker and say, hey, I need you to buy me out of this. No, no, you, you, you can't, you can't, when, when life gets rough and tough and, and, and things begin to happen in your life and you, you, you get sick or maybe you lose that job, you can't go in the garage and talk to your car about it and ask your car to work out the situation. No, that power source has no power only power the only power it has is what you give to it but i need you to understand this morning my brother and my sister that there's only one power source that'll give you all the power that you need no matter how tough your situation may be no matter how hard the test may be no matter what the enemy has thrown your way there's one power source that you connect to that will never lose power and somebody caught me this morning, you with me this morning, and that power source is Jesus Christ. And so this morning, my brother and my sister, I need you to hear what I'm saying. And I need you to hear this, that you try to connect to incompatible power sources. And because of that, you've been struggling through life. But I need you to hear me today that God says, all I need you to do is get connected to me. God said to us this morning that he is that vine and we are the branches. And when long as we are connected, we are we receiving the source, the power, the all that we need from being connected to that vine. And so this morning, my brothers and my sisters, my question to you is, are you connected to the right power source? Are you connected to the one who can do any and everything in your life? Listen, my brothers and my sisters, so many times you tried to connect to something that was incompatible for your life. That's the reason why it hadn't happened yet. That's the reason why the dream hadn't been come reality yet. That's the reason why the relationship has not worked yet. That's the reason why the job has not been the one yet because you have got the wrong power source. And so this morning, my brothers and my sister, I need you to hear as we prepare to pray that you got to connect to the right, the right power source. And when you do that, you will find that God is able to do what you need him to do in your life. Amen. So let's get ready to pray real quickly. Bow your heads right where you are. Father, we thank you this morning for this time to come together just to discuss your word. Just to, Father God, be encouraged through your word. Now, Father, we ask that you just continue to work mighty works in our lives. Continue to do great things in our lives. Continue to open doors in our lives. Keep making a way for us, Father. We thank you this morning. 
morning because you found that we found that you are faithful we found that you are god that we can trust in that we can believe in that you just keep on doing great things in our lives now father we ask right now that you would answer our prayers that father god that as we connect into you that we begin to see those things that seemed as if they would never happen become reality father we ask right now that you would allow your presence and your power to move upon us in such a way, Father, that we no longer focus on what is ahead of us, but we focus on what it is that you are doing above us, in us, and through us, and for us. Now, Father, we ask that you will continue to show yourself mighty and show yourself strong in our lives. Father, continue to do what only you can do, Father. Blow our minds with the work that you are about to do through our lives. Now, Father God, keep us, watch over us, protect us as we go throughout the remainder of this week, as we look toward the remainder of this month, and Father, at the remainder of this year, begin to orchestrate new things for our lives, bring forth change in our lives, Father. Now, Father, we thank you, and we give you all praise and glory. Now, Father, before we close this prayer, we want to tell you thank you for just another opportunity, for just another season, for just, Father God, what you are about to do in our lives and we'll forever lift your name on high for it is in jesus name we do pray and we all said amen all right family we pray that you all have been blessed that you have received something this morning listen even though we were quick hope you got something out of it amen well all right keep praying for us as we pray for you and listen know that i love you know that god loves you even more keep your head up keep your faith up god's going to that's right he's going to show up take care and we'll talk to you at a later point be blessed